Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and a brand new video on Marvel Contest of Champions. This video is all about a quick guide of how to rank up champions. For a lot of people, you'll know exactly how to rank up a champion. For others, they're like, I'm impatient, I want it goddamn now. And this video hopefully will help that out. When it comes to ranking up champions, you definitely need five things. The first thing being ISO, the second thing being gold, the next thing being tier four to tier one basic. The next thing is the same thing, but in class formation. So we need tier one to tier for class catalysts. Obviously in some cases we do need tier 5 basic, but that's another story for another day when it comes to rank 5-ing your 5 stars and also 6 stars in the future. And obviously the final thing is alphas, and that's a big kind of ooh, because if you're ranking up a 3 star then obviously that's going to be really, really easy, and obviously getting a good chunk of a 4 star up to rank Two is absolutely fine, it's just when you get the 330, then you're going to need to go, as you further go, you will need more alphas. Obviously, the further you go in the game, the more your resources will become available to you in a very short space of time. If you're doing arena wins, uh, you're getting stuff with arena very quickly because you have a lot of 4 stars and 5 stars in your roster. The same thing with regards to decent alliances. But let's take that completely out of the question and let's just go to the very are various areas in the game that you can grind in order to get those stuff that you need to rank up champions quickly. So the main plan of this video is each section that we're going to go into of the things that we mentioned we need resources wise, I'm going to give you little tips and hints with regards to how to grind out really quickly and also maximize against stuff that's going on in the game like your solo quests, utilizing things like arena boosts, things that a lot of players do consider but some really don't. And when you start off at a lower level it's really important to kind of grind and use these things and get this inner knowledge in your brain so therefore you're kind of grinding out more quickly and it's not too much of a time grind. So let's start with gold. I'm rocking about 4 million gold at the moment a lot of people will go hey that's a lot for the kind of really extreme players the high grinders they'll go yeah that's not so much i've got loads of gold the main way and unfortunately a lot of people will say oh i don't want to do this but you're gonna to have to arena that's usually the best place to get a load of gold and how that's really done and the best way to do it is get your arena boost put them on three star ones are more easily to come by so it's really important to kind of put these in as well as your spend per each match is a lot less it's a hundred when it comes to the three star version like I said, put the arena boost on and you'll blast through that. The next thing is that when you're then considering a lot higher up, then yes, the milestones are better with regards to rewards when it comes to the four star basic and also the featured, but the price with regards to entry goes up. When you grind out the arena, when you get the units back, if your units aren't being safe for anything in particular, then I do think and do stress that they should go on to energy refills. With so many more monthly events being putting into the game, it is vitally important to spend them on energy refills in order to kind of like propel yourself through this monthly content and at the same time being able to then get a lot of ISO from the stuff currently going on. So there is a heroic, there is a normal and obviously at a lower level do not challenge yourself too much. Obviously if you think you can do uh, uncollected and maybe you are level 40 and you've got uncollected then that's great but I really would stress to try and complete master, try and create do heroic and obviously do normal in order to get back the ISO from there that's going to help you out in future. Doing about an hour's worth of arena each day is pretty good for your account and also your grind in general. Getting those prem hero shards is important, getting those battle chips are important and obviously you do get gold from the milestones but it's not so substantial. Either way, grinding out the arena for about an hour a day, getting those arena boosts as well, kind of recycling everything through in different points. So yes, if you're doing the four star version, you will be able to use those arena boosts in the three star arena. That's going to help you out quite a lot. And when it comes to gold, you can then even sell your ISO. If you've got too much ISO from doing what we said was use the units on energy refills, energy refills, use them in the monthly event quest. The monthly event quest means that then you're getting more ISO and then you're selling that extra ISO that maybe you don't need and what I'm talking about is not selling it because necessity indicates you should sell it for gold but if it's a running out on your stash let's say you've got a time frame like 24 hours and they're gonna go so then it's important just to sell that stuff that isn't gonna be used also if you're doing arena you'll find you're getting battle chips and if those battle chips aren't being earmarked for treasuries of your alliance then you can spend them and obviously you can make the decision of how you want to do it. You can either say uh, save up a load of battle chips and then spend them or uh, you know do uncollected. There's a very big kind of difference if you're uncollected. You will get the access to the uncollected arena crystal. And I've had mixed luck with regards to them. I've opened I think 50 and I've got uh, 
I think, a four-star Punisher after three years. Uh, but you can even do the uh, the standard Arena Crystals, which, you know, they do gift a good amount of gold, as we can see here. Well, that was a bit fluky, and I'll get a bit of the units. But at the same time, it's still a good enough one where you just can, like, blast through a lot of Arena Crystals in one big lot. And maybe that may be a good option for you. But I would say that if you can do uncollected, then maybe that may be an option. Also, you can look to items. If you're level 60 and you don't really need the uh, XP boost, then you can sell them. Obviously, XP boosts can be really handy at lower levels in order to kind of get yourself up further through uh, through content of leveling up fast, which then means that your your mastery is getting a little bit more better maybe for your level. So maybe that's, that's something that you might want to do is just kind of blast through that and kind of level up quickly. But at the same time, any leftover items can really be sold though i do stress about using uh, your arena boosts in uh, arena itself because that's important but if you feel that you want to sell a load because you've got like hundreds of them then you can do that that is an option when it comes to tier one alphas something to really remember is there's uh, there are several ways to kind of get tier one alphas things are a lot more easier nowadays when it comes to rewards uh, yes from master completion you do get uh, three tier one alphas which is great and also one for completing uh, heroic, uh, which is nice. I wouldn't really recommend doing the hundred the exploration of normal unless you are a lower level. That is important to kind of blast through that and get that. But obviously, for higher level, it is a case of like it's a bit wasteful on your energy refills when you could be like utilizing the units for something a little bit more better for you at at your level. When it comes to the glory store, that's another option. Uh, obviously, the spend does go up as you kind of uh, purchase more. Um, as we can see now, I've, I can only purchase two and a 500 a piece. But if they go on the reroll side of things, they're close to that 300 uh, glory mark. And the final thing is when it comes to uh, the arena. Now, there is an arena from time to time, a tier one alpha arena. Uh, which does appear and I think will be appearing fairly shortly after this uh, this video goes live and it will it will be like a good chance to go in there I think it's like 800k gets you a tier 1 alpha and it is it's something that for 10,000 uh, battle chip spend it's nice to kind of get that very quickly and can mean that uh, players of a higher level as well as any level really can get a uh, uh, most of uh, of up to five uh, tier one alphas a week, maybe even in some cases some more. When it comes to like tier one to tier four basics, there's there's loads of ways. Uh, go into your the solo events and see what's going on with that, and kind of then say right if it's event quest completion, I'm going to do some event questing. If it's going to be arena wins, I'm going to do arena wins, hero use, arena, and kind of questing. There's so many things it really could do with that. Proving grounds is usually the best one for tier one, tier two, and tier three basics. When it comes to the tier four version. I do not mess with that. I don't think it's very good with regards to Proving Grounds. And ho I'd hope in the future that it kind of improves with regards to how much more Tier 4 Basic you Fragments you can get. There is a Tier 4 Basic Arena you can actually participate in. And the uh, the top milestone at 1.1 million is one fully formed Tier 4 Basic, which is great. When it comes to monthly event quests, there is plenty available with regards to Master and Heroic. More of, of so in Master when it comes to like one fully formed and then some extra Fragments. Then when it comes to rope, one fully formed, yes, and then uncollected is tier 5 basic. And obviously each of those are probably available at more lots when it comes to the story mode, but obviously you can only do that once. The glory store still, you know, is one of the main ways that people are getting their tier 4 basic. And as you can see here, there's like you can buy up to 10, but at the same time it does go up in price. Um, but still, you know, it's like if you've got the glory, then, you know, and you really want to get a champion upgraded quickly, then this will be like a one-stop shop. The glory store is great in any case if you want to pick up anything like glory crystals, which then can get you a good amount of the tier 4 class catalyst, which we'll go on to shortly. And the final thing that gives you the tier 4 basics and any kind of like uh, decent stuff is the map crystals. They seem to be the best things with regards to deliverance of that. But like I said, it's important to go and check what's on so event-wise, so therefore you can then kind of pick and choose how you're going to balance your day with regards to what you're grinding out. When it comes to classes, this is when it gets a little bit difficult. At the lower level stuff with regards to tier 1, tier 2 and tier 3, I really would recommend keeping locked understanding of which day is what class with regards to the proving grounds as it's a lot more easier when you get to tier 4 to kind of grind this stuff out we've got tier 4 class catalyst fragment crystals which we get from events the same thing with regards to map crystals gifting us class catalyst at tier 4 and also there's just so many other things with regards to glory crystals the glory store which make it just so much more easier than it used to be with regards to 
grinding out the tier four classes as opposed to the lower stuff it's like you have to wait a good that's like every day you've got to put at least uh you know two energy refills down in order to fully complete tier two tier three of the class catalyst as you can see here today is uh, cosmic at the point of recording this video uh, so yeah it's important each day to get in there especially at lower levels to kind of grind up this kind of resource to then apply it to new champions you want to rank up so it may not be so quick for you but you're gonna have to remember each day get in grind it out and have it in your inventory but this is where these things with solo events come in handy because we've got 10 of the tier 3 class catalyst fragment crystals which do mean that you can get some kind of improvements when it comes to your tier 3s and it does mean that especially for higher level players your grind is a lot lower especially if you are doing something that's going to benefit your kind of like whole account so if you're kind of focused on arena wins and it does mean that the stuff that comes with that means that you're going to have less grind elsewhere in the game and likewise can be said for lower rated players four star grinding and obviously in things like hero use are really important so repetition on certain aspects you can do energy kind of lower energy spends on things like rope to labyrinth where you can just move one square and then obviously uh, fight an enemy and use your four star thusly but at the same time it probably be more advantageous to be grinding out in arena as opposed to doing this method and finally iso why iso is incredibly important is because obviously you need that in order to rank up your champions Largely look to your crystals and how you uh, will need them and the final thing is ISO. ISO is incredibly difficult to come by in great amounts. Some people will say that's a complete lie Richard, you're talking a lot of BS. Well, not necessarily. If you consider that you don't have 4 stars heavily duplicated, then when it hits up for getting a 4 star crystal, that you're not going to find that you're going to dupe yours, you're probably going to get a new one. So the same thing is that if you've done Heroic and you've done Master and you've maybe even done Uncollected, that you will be getting those 4 stars more regularly. So that means that you're going to be increasing your ISOs at the point of duping. But at the same time, if you get loads of Prems, and that's the thing, Arena, like we said, go to Arena, use your Arena boosts, and also do the 3 star one because the cost is a lot less on the gold. So that means you're getting those prem crystal shards and that is effectively going to mean that uh, you're going to get iso and obviously even better if you then get the champion in there um, same thing could be said for the four star when you're shooting for that the more four stars you get and the more times you do arena and it's so frustrating to kind of like say hey a lot of the time with regards to grind and getting further in a game you're gonna have to do lots of arena but unfortunately that is the state with regards to the game as soon as you've done the event side of things event questing and the questing in general then you're gonna have to grind out in arena that is uh, unfortunately the lay of the land but obviously the main point of the video is utilizing all those aspects you know look in your solo events for each day and it will then tell you what you really need to be doing so if you see event quest completion then you're going to be in the quests and doing that if you see arena wins then you're going to be doing that likewise with regards to things like mutant combat is still quite good or any kind of combat is good but i do prefer seeing those arena battles like mystic arena battles so therefore you're using your mystics to kind of grind out as much you're doing them the four star versions in the four star version uh, of the arena you're doing the same with regards to the three star version and you're getting those milestones so do concentrate on looking on these things because they're going to be really helpful for you likewise with regards to helping your alliance three days events are really important as well item use obviously if you're using arena boost then you're contributing to the item use event likewise with regards to perfect series and also when it comes to arena combat utilize this all of these things together and you will be able to kind of increase your roster and also rank up quickly because you need all those things from those milestones so i hope this helps people out with regards to where they should go quickly for resources and how they should plan themselves and their day around what they should grind to then get to the point they can rank up a champion and obviously there will be an element of time that you will have to grind out nothing is going to be given to you for free but at the same time we can be helped with the guys the nice things from the calendar so do look out for that anyway i've been rich man if you enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe for more marvel contest of champions based content and as well happy ranking up bye bye for now